Hi, welcome to my channel. And um oops, sorry. <laughs> Actually tonight, um I just wanted to come on and just speak about voting real quick. You know, uh after everything that been going on this year and the last four years, you know, um I feel like this moment, this this year is the very most important time to get out and make your voice heard and vote. Um, you know, um, I, I, it's like speechless, you know, that we have to live in this pandemic the way we've been living, you know, and, um, you know, we have a president that seems like he don't care too much about life you know, the only thing he care about is winning. And um to me it's a little sad. It's a little it's it's a whole lot sad. Let me just be honest and say that. It's a whole lot sad, you know. And um I voted already. I mailed my um ballot in earlier this month. And you know, I'm just praying for the best. You know, um, no one can tell no one who to vote for. You know, that's up to you, who you, you know, your candidate that you want to see elected or reelected. But sometimes we like undecided on the best person for the job. And with this type of position, you have to think about where you are today and where you want to be in the next four years. Um, you know, my, for me and my, um, my situation, I thought about having someone that can understand my language. I wasn't born rich, you know. Um, I had to work, I have to work hard to really survive and to get the things that I need, you know. So I need, well, I shouldn't say I need. I would like to have someone sitting in the White House that understand the people's language. You know, not just not just my rich friends or my, my rich business partners or rich colleagues because, to be honest, None of them don't understand a person like me and my struggles because I'm sure most of them didn't have to do that, didn't have to struggle. So I I just, I'm just praying for the best, you know. Um, people get out and vote, whether you like Mr. Biden or like Mr. Trump. <laughs> You know, you have to make your voice heard. And I know they saying all oh, these is why vote because of the elect the electoral votes got, you know, say so over the the popular vote and all this. It don't matter. As long as you do your part and go out there and have your voice heard by hitting that well, hitting the button or filling in that dot. To me, that's all that matters. And guess what? When you do that, on whichever side it, the, the, the ending will land, you still have every right to complain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I did for the last four years, because I did not vote for Trump four years ago. I'm going to be honest. I, I thought it was comical that he even ran. But <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I did not vote for the man. And I complain ever since he he was there, and I feel like I had that right to complain because I did vote. So um, I don't know. I'm to be serious. Just go out and make a decision and vote. Even if you're not, you're you're like undecided. You don't know if Mr. Biden would be the best candidate. Think about your situation your lifestyle, where you want to see yourself in the next four years. You know what I mean? Because you got to think 
about the grants, those federal grants and um, health care and all that stuff, a lot of times those decisions have to come from the White House. And and even though you live in this beautiful state and this, and you have a bomb governor that has, that has your back and, and that will fight the battle with you, so he has to sometimes go to that president for funding for a lot of things. And, you know, to have someone like Donald Trump there not signing nothing until after the election, you have people damn near homeless out here, you know, um, because they have lost their job because of this thing, this virus. And, um, I mean, it's, it's so sad. And, you know, he sit there and downplay, oh, kids can't get it. I heard a story about this couple, and I heard this on TV. A, a baby, five years old, died. And the parents didn't know what was going on, you know. And she, come to find out, she had coronavirus. So, look... Do not play with my life like that. You know, if you want to play games with your life, you know, walking around, no mask, you know, um, just right now living free willy, that's you <laughs> and your business. But to me, especially as a president, should have some type of, of conscience or some type of concern about the American people. And to me, the only thing this man care about is winning. That's all he see right now is winning. You know, and to me, it's like a game for him. It's like a game, and it's sad. It's very sad because you have so many Americans here, you know, just dying. Just dying for no reason, really. So... My thing is, just think about where you want to see your your life, your family in the next four years, you know. You know, and um, that's what I did. I thought about that. And, well, I didn't, like I said, I didn't vote for him four years ago anyway. But for those that that's not sure I would say just think about it you know but anyway I just wanted to you know step in real quick and encourage everyone to go out and vote you know and you know the choice is yours but I just pray that you make the best decision for you and your family all right so that's about it I'm not going to talk crazy all night but and, um I want to get off of here. So, good night. Please remember to go vote next Tuesday. Um, and that's about it. So, I'll see you. Bye-bye.